So this is the most shocking news I've come across this month. Or maybe should I say the most shocking news I've come across this year. Like who could have ever thought Imwili of all people. Imagine Honorable Chimbaga Mwili has been, has been given a five months imprisonment by the magistrate court over the statements that he made a couple of years back. You know, in Bemba Varanda, this, this was this, this speech, he made this speech a couple of years ago. Was it like, is it before 2017 actually, or somewhere in 2017? And uh, there's even a clip that uh, shows when uh, Chimbakamwil went to Southern Province to go and personally apologize to the people of Southern Province towards the speech, in which he said that. Um, even if uh, Jesus Christ was to come and contest with a candidate from Southern Province, the people of Southern Province will still vote for the Afero Tonga. So now this, this was regarded as a hate speech. This did not sit well with, with most Zambians, not just Tongas. You know, they said it was tribal, it was hate speech. And the uh, Honorable Chimbakamwe even went to southern province to go and apologize to the chiefs of to the chief of, of southern province he went and apologized to the tonga people but um, you know since he apologized everybody thought that they were even like you know but uh, but i guess it was not over the law had to take its course and um, he in, during that speech he also uh, said something like you know you sh we should observe how tongas vote Tongas always vote for their own, so why should we? You know, he was saying something like that. Even even though there was, if 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 you ask me, there have been so many people that have said a lot of negative things towards the Tongas. But uh, Chimbaga, Mr. Jorebe Chimbagambu was on on the, was on the spotlight because, of course, he's a big political figure, and I I I don't I think this. This imprisonment for me, it's not entirely fair. It's not entirely just, in the sense that when he said that the the people of Southern Province they they always vote for their fellow Tonga, and statistically, I'm I'm not trying to to like support hate speech or anything. Statistically, it is true. That's the fact. Statistically, it's true. You should go and check the the uh, ECZ records. The Electoral Commission of Zambia's record on how people vote in Southern Province. He was right. The people from Southern Province normally vote for each other. That's that's the truth. So when he say that they they vote for for themselves more than they can, they can never vote for anybody else. It is true. They they always vote for themselves. But I think where he he, he made where he he made the whole thing go wrong was when he said that. Um, when he encouraged other people like the Bembas to do the same, that is where now it was kind of causing division there because he was now trying to, it was more like he's, he's trying to divide the Tongas from other uh, people, in, from, uh, from, others, from other tribes. And I think that's where he went wrong. But based on the fact that he went on to apologize for his statement and of course the, the chiefs of, in Southern Province accepted his apology I think the five months imprisonment is kind of harsh. And um, uh, th thinking of thinking of think of it in this way, since he apologized, if, who even went on to 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 court to pursue this matter, because he apologized, and I don't and I don't see like why somebody should you know. So anyway, Vananda Tumuranduta Obora, even though he apologized, that's why. He, They've, they've decided to pursue the case, but I think five months imprisonment is just too harsh. It's just too harsh. I think, uh, but anyway, there is a, there's an option for him to appeal this judgment. There is an option for him to contest the judgment. He can appeal, but even though we know that even if he appeals, he has to, he, for the meantime, you have to, you have to be in prison. He has to be coming, you have to be coming from prison to the courtroom and We've seen in the past that Mr. Kamwil also seems to have, you know, some healthy issues, you know, way back. We used to see whenever he gets arrested, you know, he used to end up in the hospital. So now I'm not even sure of what is going to happen to him. Like if, he, if he's going to see the whole five months throughout in prison, it's going to be very bad for him. 
And um, of course, this will not sit well with the patriotic front as a, a political party, um, because now it's for the political for for the patriotic front, they are gonna make it. Um, they are gonna paint it in a way that this is a a a, a, a more like a witch hunting, you know, like targeting him, especially that. We've seen recently that he has been been uh, he has he has been in this kind of a battle of words with the president, you know, over the statement that the president made in Kasama. He was always contesting, you know, whatever he was always contesting what the president has been doing. So, so this will look like political assassination. Like the government has just like okay, so he has this kind of case. Just just lock him up and we, we throw away the keys and we are done with him. So it's more like the the patriotic front are gonna make it look like the UPND government just wants to shut him up. But if you ask me, ah, his statement was not entirely good. But five months is just too harsh. Yeah, five months is just too harsh. Anyways, so especially that he even apologized, like like we said before. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think about this uh, case. Do you think the the court made? The right ruling do you think he deserves to get five months imprisonment for for his for his speech um or do you think it is not a just uh sentence let me know what you think in the comment section below and uh if you are watching this channel for the first time uh, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like for the algorithm and also turn on the notification button so that each time i drop new videos you'll be the first to get notified